Hello there guys and welcome to this weekend's live stream for IFMC. I am JWF1 and we are here at the Circuit de Nevers Magni Corps uh, for this weekend's action for IFMC and we're going to kick things off with the qualifying session to determine the grid for the feature race for IFMC GP2. And there's obviously a couple of news flashes to go on with that as well. Uh, first of all, I must apologise for there not being a young driver's test uh, on Monday. Uh, I suffered from illness as a result of what happened to me over the last uh, two days. Uh, some stuff happened with the family, but it's all been sorted now. I'm all better, and the young driver's test will take place this coming Monday instead, so a day after the French Grand Prix. Still be at Silverstone, but just a week behind than what it was initially. So... As you can see, we've got bright and sunny conditions for this qualifying session. Just a couple of notes for you, of course. Uh, because it is France, uh, most teams that have alcohol sponsors will have to have them censored for this weekend. Uh, Lando Norris won his appeal for his qualifying ban, so uh, he will not have the qualifying ban for this weekend. Uh, it will only be Lucas Yoda that gets the qualifying ban. But the big news is that Mick Schumacher has been released by Academy and uh, is now just an AMP test driver as a result due to poor performances this season. So he's been ditched and replacing him for the remainder of the season will be Brazilian Sergio Sete Camara. So the man who drove for Willows Racing last weekend in GP3 is now here in GP2 for the remainder of the season with Academy. He'll look on to put on a good show. And of course, Yuri Vips that back for this weekend after w serving... After being made to sit on the sidelines for causing the crash with Dan Tipton via RSPCA Racing. But Vips is back for this weekend. So uh, that's that from this weekend onwards. So here we are then. Bright and sunny conditions. I've rambled on for a bit. So without further ado, let's get to the qualifying session. So here we are then in the pit lane. And we're going to go to the end of the pit lane with, let's try and get to the end, who's at the end of the pit lane, it is Yuri Vips, so we will wait and get this session underway, of course it is a 35 minute session, and uh, we wait for the first set of cars to get out onto the uh, the track, as we look at Vips's perspective now then, as we wait for a car, who is actually coming down the pit lane, that looks like a GRM that's coming down the pit lane, and it's in the form of Lance Stroll, who's come off a very frustrated Silverstone, looked very strong in terms of pace last weekend, but unfortunately never really materialised, as a result fell backwards as a result due to several things that have happened, but uh, he's able to put that behind him here at Magny Corps if he can, and uh, of course as well, uh, Stroll uh, will be the first man to set a lap, of course, Magny Corps used to be towards the back end of the season the last two seasons, but now it's at the middle of the season. And uh, just before the German and Hungarian Grand Prix, so uh, there we go then. So heading down the hill then goes Lance Stroll. Also on track, we have Sasha Fenestras in the Lopez Racing Development car. Luca Giotto coming out onto the track as well. A good result from EMR last weekend. George Russell, the current championship leader, is out there as well. And they've obviously had to censor their alcohol sponsors as well uh, for this weekend because uh, France is very strict when it comes to alcohol sponsorship in, uh, in their country. Uh, Lando Norris out on track as well. Uh, as is Yuri Vips making a return this weekend after after being made to sit out last week. Uh, Sergei Sorotkin out on track, as is Dan Tictum, Mitch Evans, Sean Galile, and Sergio Seti Kamara out on track as well. And it's good to see him back in GP2. The first time, the last time we saw him in a GP2 car was back last season with the now defunct MI, MII Incorporated team that was run by Bruno De, Bruno De Bowers before they left after one weekend. But Kamara back. And uh, so far has pretty much caught an impression among Etihad as a result of a brilliant performance in GP3 last weekend. As Stroll has just started his lap and of course Lucas Yoro looking for the pit lane because he's the one with the qualifying ban. Lando Norris would use, would join him as well but because uh, Light Bay Sunny Racing won their appeal uh, he doesn't have to serve that anymore. Instead it was just deemed a racing incident between him and Felix Rosenquist. As now coming out of the hairpin then goes Lance Stroll as he heads down the hill. And now he'll head up towards... The chicane on the track, so through the right and then left-hander, then goes Stroll before approaching the next left-hander on the track, as he just flicks the car in, and of course, as mentioned, he'll be setting the benchmark of time for everyone to beat. Of course, when we were last year as well, uh, when it was pre-season testing for GP2, uh, of course, the uh, the two Red Bull Academies topped that as well. There was only 7,000 between them, and I believe it was uh, Russell who topped that as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe it was Russell who topped that as well. So uh, whether that will be the same this weekend, we'll have to wait and see. But coming up towards the final chicane then, we'll go Lance Stroll. And let's see what the Canadian is able to do then. Round the final corner and onto the pit straight 
He will go in the Teenage Canadian. He's going to cross the line. What's the benchmark of time going to be? It's a 1 minute 17.731. So that's his time. Here comes Sasha Fenestras. He's now going to cross the line. And he goes P2 with that lap there. P2 for Sasha Fenestras. Here is Luca Giotto. He's now going to come up towards the final chicane behind him. His championship leader, George Russell. He'll be looking to challenge for pole if he can. Up towards the final corner then will go Giotto. And let's see what the Italian is able to do. Giotto crossing the line. And he goes P1 with that lap. So fastest for Giotto. But he's swiftly beaten uh, by a few... Uh, by just a few thousands of a second. Sorry, a few hundreds there from George Russell. But then Lando Norris pops to the top. So Norris goes fastest for the moment then. As uh, Norris goes to the top. It's P5 for Yuri Vips. So Vips goes P5. And then Sorotkin does as well. As does Tictum. So quite close there. Here comes Mitch Evans. Coming around the final corner. Down the pitch he goes. And Evans is now going to cross the line. What can he manage? And he goes fifth fastest with that lap. Sean Goliath pops sixth. Here comes Sergio Sete Kamara. What can he manage? He goes P7 on his uh, first lap back in GP2. And um, so that's that really. He's never been around Magni Core, So it's obviously going to take him a while to get used to it in the IFMC universe that is obviously I don't know if he has in real well he must have done in fact because he took part in the uh, pre-season test didn't he in real life for GP2 that was also at Manny Core um, so that's that really he's into the pit lane then goes Stroll and uh, so he's currently P4 at the moment the top 4 then is nice Russell, Giotto, Stroll and Evans that's how it currently looks at this stage in qualifying uh, so here's one of the new guys Sergio Seti Kamara and uh, still just trying to get his feet uh, obviously cooled up a little bit last minute you have to say so obviously for this session it's him trying to get used to the car if he can and uh, to then see if he can try and deliver his talents and uh, obviously it wasn't uh, he didn't have the best of weekends la uh, when he was at GP2 in Bahrain last season but uh, he seems to be a better developed driver than what he has been before and he's looking to uh, to try and uh, continue that here into uh, IFMC GP2 now he's at Academy for the rest of the season as he now approaches the final chicane, flicking it through the chicane, he will go as Kamara goes into the pits. And uh, so in he goes as we wait for another set of cars to come out. And we've got some now in the form of Nobuhari Matsushita. So out on track then comes the Japanese driver. As he flicks off the pit limiter to go out of turn one. And he will now head down towards turn three on the track. Flicking the car round the right hander now then he'll go. As uh, Masashita will soon be preparing to start his next flying lap as he comes down the back street now then before approaching the hairpin. Also on track we have Santiago Uishia. Uh, he's out there for Makamo. Uh, so it looks like his teammate's going to join him as well. Alex Lynn as we're looking at. Uh, Lance Stroll will be coming back out. We'll also have Razier, Gasly, Rosenquist, Ericsson, De Vries, Palmer, Nato. And uh, I think that will be that really. That will be the cars coming out on track. Uh, 13 came out previously, so still 8 to do a lap. You're, uh, of course, not taking part because of his qualifying ban, so he or she will be 22nd anyway. And uh, had it not been for the the appeal to be over t to overturn Lando Norris's qualifying ban, we probably would have seen uh, him at the back and probably at the moment see Russell on pole. But uh, that hasn't been the case, and so far Norris finds himself uh, on top at the moment in this session. Masashita coming out of the right-hander using a lot of curb on the outside as he will now approach... The final chicane, flicking the car in through the right, then through the left, and then into the final corner he will go as he heads down the pit straight to start his next flying lap. And uh, so he starts his lap now then as he heads down towards turn one on the track. Flicking the car out of turn one now then, and it looks like he might get held up in traffic because Felix Rosenquist has come out right in front of him, the man who comes into this race three points behind championship leader and teammate George Russell. So far, Red Bull Academy dominating the team's championship, it must be said, with two very talented drivers in, in the form of Russell and a Rosenquist. And in real life, Russell made a little bit of a cock-up of things, if we know, in the feature race where he tried to go for a dive down at Raskas and it didn't quite work out for him. But uh, let's hope uh, this weekend he doesn't uh, do the same thing. I don't think he should... Well, then again, it is possible because I have seen in real life F1, uh, if Russell decides to make a cock-up of things... Uh, uh, this weekend, uh, we're hoping he doesn't. We'd like to see some clean races from everybody, really. But uh, it is possible that uh, there could be an overshot of dive bombs. I mean, in real life, uh, back in 2002, uh, I remember, I think it was uh, Mika... Well, in fact, 1998, Mika Hakkinen tried to do a dive on one of the Ferraris and it didn't quite work out. He ended up spinning coming out of that corner. And on top of that as well, I think uh, a Jordan in 2002 tried to go for a dive but went straight on into the gravel. 
And uh, that was that, really. So um, it is quite quite possible around this track. As here comes Masashita then. He's just coming out of the final corner. And across the line, he will go as uh, he goes into 11th place. So last start then, really, as Razia starts a lap. Here comes Santiago Eurecia. Across the line, he will go. And he goes 5th place. So P5 for Eurecia. Here comes teammate Alex Lynn. Currently finding himself 4th, I believe. No, he's not 4th anymore. 5th in the Drivers' Championship. Sorokin now finds himself up in 4th in the Drivers' Championship. After a good weekend at Silverstone for EMR. As coming out of the final corner then comes Alex Lynn. What can he manage on this lap? Then Lynn crosses the line to go 4th fastest. A P4 for Lynn. As Gasly now crosses the line. And he goes fastest. Gasly goes to the top of the timing sheet. So Gasly at the top. In front of his home fans as well here at Manly Cores. It's 8th for Joel Erickson, the man who won the sprint race last weekend. As an improvement for Stroll, but he stays 6th place for the moment. So the man, the hometown favourite, Pierre Gasly, is currently fastest at the moment. As here across, across the line goes, uh, that is Norman Natto, who goes P5 with that lap then. So Natto was under pressure to perform recently from Light Race Sunny Racing, but he finally turned up the wick, it seems, and uh, is up in 5th place at the moment. Across the line goes, um, goes Nick DeFries, he goes P5. With that lap there then. Jolly and Palmer. Rounds the final corner. Let's see what Palmer is able to do. And this not this doesn't look to be a good lap for him. Only 19th for him there then. P5 for Felix Rosenquist. So I don't know if he got held up there. But only 5th for the Swede. As it's only 19th for Louis Razier. At this stage in qualifying. As uh, anybody else on a lap. It doesn't appear like it. So at the moment it is currently Gasly. That is currently fastest at this stage. With I believe... Um, who's second with uh, Norris in second and then Russell who rounds out the top three so that's how it currently looks in qualifying as uh, Gasly comes into the pits into the pit lane he goes as he'll soon flick off the flick on the pit limiter I should say trundling down pit lane and uh, let's see what the top five currently looks like now then at this stage as uh, Gasly pulls into pit lane and let's see then, shall we? So the top five, let's say this then. It's Gasly from Norris, Russell, Giotto and Rosenquist. That's how the leaderboard currently stands uh, at this stage. There's Louis Razier. He'll be soon coming back into the pits this lap. As he will uh, just go around the chicane. We wait for another set of cars to come out onto the track very soon. As Razier flicks it through the right-hander before using quite a lot of curb on the outside. Up towards the final chicane then will go Razier. As uh, he just flicks it into pit lane. So uh, into the pit lane then goes Louis Razia. And uh, so in pit lane he will go now then. And uh, so that's that really. Uh, so he now goes into pit lane now then. And uh, so he goes in. And I think a few more cars have gone out. Yes, they have. Sergio Setekamara out on track. Currently 14th. But he'll look to try and get close to his new teammate, Pierre Gasly, if he can. And, um, of course, um, Kamara just going down the hill he goes now then. As he looks to try and uh, put a lap in, if he can. As they go through the chicane. And now up towards the next section of corners he will go on the track. And uh, so around the left. Then through the right, and then through the left again, and then up towards the uh, chicane. And Kamara will be starting that very soon. Also on track will be Dan Tictum as his teammate Yuri Vips. Uh, also on track we have Mitch Evans in the Vortex car. Sergei Sorotkin has come out as has teammate Luca Giotto. Lando Norris, the man who's currently second, back on the track looking to see if he can grab pole back from Gasly. Uh, championship leader George Russell is now coming back out onto the track. We'll be expecting Masashita, Fenestraz, Galayo, uh, who else as well. And that will be that really. That will be all. That's, oh, it looks like Kamara's hit somebody coming out of pit lane. Uh, was it... Uh, who was that uh, Fenestraz by any chance? He's lucky to not sustain some damage. And it was Fenestraz. It's just, that's just so unfortunate how the pit lane comes out there, uh, which causes that little bit of contact. But uh, that's kind of unfortunate there, really. And, uh, well, that, uh, that's that, really. That will be investigated, of course, but uh, because we do do qualifying investigations in this league. But uh, I wouldn't presume anything would come out of it because that just looks like a pure racing incident. It's just how the pit lane comes out, really. I don't think Kamar was expecting Fenestras to come out that soon, really. And I don't think Fenestras was expecting anybody on there. So I wouldn't be surprised if nothing gets done for that. I think they'll just probably just give both of them a slap on the wrist or... 
That'll be that, really, or just classic racing instant. We'll have to wait and see. But Kamara, meantime, that's his lap ruined as a result. So, uh, effectively, he's only got two more flying laps in which to try and get the car to the top ten. But that has effectively ruined any chance of possibly a, a, a very good, uh, maybe an improvement for the young Brazilian. As he just goes around the right and left under, as he'll soon now approach the uh, chicane. As he flicks through the right and left hander on the track. Kamara through, he will go around the right hander. As uh, so he uses a lot of curb on the outside before approaching the final chicane. And uh, around the final chicane will go uh, Sete Kamara as he heads down the pit straight. And let's see how much time it cost him as a result of that fly. And it's cost him around 5 seconds. This is does a 122.968. Uh, as a result, Dan Tictum now then we ride on board with and uh, he doesn't improve, stays 15th for that lap as his teammate doesn't either, he stays 17th for the moment as here comes Mitch Evans who comes out of the final corner onto the pit straight then we will go Mitch and let's see what he can do, he improves and he's 6th for the moment so P6 for Mitch Evans, here is Sergei Rockin looking to improve on 16th at this stage as he just feeds the car round the right hander and uh, let's see what Sorotkin is able to do then on this lap then. Into the final chicane then. We'll go the Russian. And let's see what he's able to do then. Around the final corner and onto the pit straight. Sorotkin of course got his first GP2 victory back here when he was a reserve driver for Martini. But he crossed the line to go third fastest. So up to P3 goes Sergei Sorotkin with that lap. He gets himself into the top three. Giotto remains where he is at the moment which is P5. Lando Norris doesn't improve. Stays second for the moment. Unable to beat Gasly at this stage now. Then here comes George Russell across the line goes the young Brit and he goes back up to third so he pushes Sorotkin down to fourth place at this stage. As here comes Sasha Fenestras. He heads down the pit straight and across the line he will go and he doesn't improve. Stays in 20th for the moment as uh, it's still 14th for Sean Galayle. As uh, here comes teammate Masashita. Across the line he will go and he goes up to 7th for that lap. A brilliant time for Masashita to get up into P7. At the moment in this qualifying session as Mitch Evans goes back into the pits, currently P8 uh, at this uh, stage as we try and uh, look for um, for uh, anybody else on the lap. It doesn't appear like it, but uh, it's still Gasly, the hometown favourite, at the top of the timing sheets in this qualifying session as uh, through the hairpin goes Masashita using quite a lot of curb on the outside before heading down the hill towards the chicane. And uh, Masashita now then just flicking the car in and around the left hand he will go. And uh, Masashita now then just going around the corner. He's in quite a bit of curb on the outside before he heads up towards down towards the next chicane on the track. As he flicks the car in for the right, then for the left. Uh, so you will now approach the right hand. Uh, Masashita going back into pit lane. Is Santiago Urishia in the Makamo car? Has gone back out onto the track as he just flicks the car in through the hairpin. And he'll now head down the hill before starting his lap. How many minutes have we got to go left? We have just under 19 minutes of this qualifying session remaining to determine the grid for tomorrow's feature race here at Manny Core. Uh, so Eurasia now then just going around the left hander on the track. And uh, using quite a bit of curb on the outside there then. And... Um, so up towards the next chicane on the track we go. And uh, Yurishia will now approach the right-hander. As he will now start his next flying lap. And uh, now up towards the next chicane he will go. Through the right, then the left. And then into the final corner we go. And let's see what Santiago Yurishia can do. As he now crosses the line to start his next flying lap. Up towards turn one he will go. As uh, so a few more cars come out of pit lane there. And luckily for him, that Willows Grand Prix car that came out in front isn't going to hold him up, I don't think. We'll wait and see, though. Coming out of turn three, then, goes Yuichia. Before heading down the back straight before approaching the hairpin. And the end of sector one. As there are the few other cars that have come out onto the track right behind uh, Yuichia. As he will now approach the hairpin. And uh, let's see what Yuichia can do on this lap. As he head down the hill towards the next chicane. And uh, so in towards the chicane then will go Eurasia as he will now approach the uh, the left hander 
And let's see what Santiago is able to achieve then this time around as he heads up towards the chicane. And uh, Eurasia now then. Let's see if this is going to be an improvement. So far 13th at the moment for the Uruguay driver. But let's see if he can improve on that then. He feeds the car around the right-hander. A lot of curb being used on the outside before approaching the last chicane. And let's see what the Macamo driver can do now then. Up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight will go Santiago Eurasia. And across the line he will go. And he doesn't improve. Stays 13th with that lap. Nato starting a lap as his stroll. As is a few other cars to be honest with you. So we'll look at Felix Rosenquist. He's down in 6th place. Can he try and get himself towards the front of the field? Maybe challenge for pole as he has done for most of the season. And uh, as he goes around the left hander. Only one race he's failed to qualify on pole this season. At this stage it could look like two races. But uh, we'll wait and see. It's the guy behind Pierre Gasly is the man who's currently on pole. I don't know if he's on another flying lap. But we'll wait and see. Round the chicane goes Rosenquist. And let's see what he's able to do then on this lap. Then flicking the car around the right hander. A lot of curb being used on the outside. Riding on board then with Felix Rosenquist. And let's see. What he's able to do then on this lap. Up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight he will go. And across the line now then goes Felix Rosenquist. Is this going to be an improvement? It is. He goes fastest. So Rosenquist goes to the top. Uh, Gasly doesn't improve. Stays in second place. So Rosenquist heading himself to the top of the timing sheets there then. Uh, no, an improvement for Ericsson to get up into 13th place at this stage. And so here comes... Alex Lynn across the line he will go and he stays where he is at the moment which is P number 11. So that's that. Here comes Jolien Pard. This is going to be an improvement. It is but only up to 14th place at this stage in qualifying. Norman Nato remains P10 at this stage. Still 12th for Lance Stroll. As we now look at Nick De Vries. Up towards the final corner goes the GRM Junior driver as he now heads down the pit straight. And across the line we will go. And no improvement. Stays ninth place for the young Dutchman. Here's Louis Razier then in the Willows Grand Prix car. Let's see what he's able to do. Round the final corner and onto the pit straight. Will go the Brazilian as he now crosses the line. Is this going to be an improvement? It is, but only up to 19th place. So Razier clearly struggling uh, at this stage. Sergio Sete Camara now then. Approaching the final corner. Let's see what the young Brazilian is able to do. Across the line. He will go as it's going to be an improvement for him. And it is, but only up to 13th place. So not quite into the top 10 yet for Sergio Sete Camara. As Rosenquist, the current pole sitter now into the pits. But let's see what the top 5 now then currently stands here in qualifying. As his Red Bull Academy mechanics uh, pull him into pit lane. Let's see now then. We're just under 15 minutes remaining. It's Rosenquist from Gasly, Norris, Russell and Sorotkin. That's how the top 5 currently stands at this rate, as uh, Dan Tictum comes out onto the track for RSPCA races. So Rosenquist currently fastest, Gasly second, and then it is uh, Norris in third with Russell fourth and Sorotkin who rounds out the top five. So that's how it currently looks in this qualifying session. As now Tictum will now approach the hairpin. Into the hairpin we go as he flicks the car in through the right-hander. Before heading down the hill towards the right left hander. And now up towards the chicane we will go. As he now flicks it in through these section of corners. And now in towards the left we go. And uh, let's see what Tictum is able to do um, in this session. As uh, he will soon be starting his next flying lap in the RSPCA racing car. Flicking it into the chicane he will go. And that'll be that. Yuri Vips out on track as well for RSPCA Racing. Sasha Fenestras coming out on track, as is Sean Galayo. He's out there, as is Mitch Evans, Lando Norris. And we'll be expecting Masashita, Giotto, Russell, uh, Sorotkin to also join these guys. Ticked him now, they're about to start a lap. Hoping he gets a clean one in, providing nobody comes out at the exit of the pit lane through turn one. Nobody did, so flat through turn one then goes uh, Dan Ticked him as he now flicks the car through the right hander on the track a lot of curve being used on the outside before heading down at the back straight before approaching the hairpin there's russell his fellow compatriot in front of him at the moment into the uh, the hairpin we will go and uh, so into that right hander then goes vips 
as he now uses quite a lot of curb on the outside heading down the hill towards the chicane and uh, up towards the right hander we will go and uh, so Tictum on a clean lap but can he improve on what is currently P18 at the moment so so far not the best of qualifying sessions for Dan Tictum but let's see if he can improve if he can now then as he will now approach the uh, chicane through the right and then the left hander he will go before approaching the next right hander flicking the car in through the corner as he now uses a lot of curve on the outside before approaching the last chicane. Let's see what he's able to do then. Ticked him around the final chicane up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight. Is this going to be an improvement for him? Let's see. Ticked him across the line. He will go. And is this an improvement? It is, but he stays in 18. So he doesn't improve on position at this stage. As we now look at his teammate, Yuri Vips, who's down on his personal best by two tenths of a second in the middle sector let's see if he can try and hook it back though in the final sector the young estonian rounds the final few corners before heading using a lot of curb on the outside up towards the final chicane then he will go let's see what vips is able to do up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight we will go and uh, vips now then crosses the line and no improvement stays 20th for the moment in this session. Sasha Fenestra is currently 21st. Can he improve? Around the final chicane. Over to boil an impression in front of his home fans. But so far, not going well for Sasha now. Then as he heads down the pitch straight and across the line goes Fenestra. And he improves to go up to 18th place. So not much of an improvement, but he gets out of the dreaded last place. Uh, still an improvement for Galar to get up into 13th. Mitch Evans stays 8th. Lando Norris stays 3rd. No improvement for him. Here is Luca Giotto coming out of the final corner. Let's see what Giotto is able to do. Across the line he will go and he stays in P6 with that lap. George Russell crosses the line, stays in fourth place but improves on his best time. As we look at Eurecia who's on an improvement as well. Uh, he's down in 17th at the moment so he desperately needs to try and find some improvement somewhere. Uh, on this lap, out of, the, out of the corner we go then, using a lot of curb on the, the outside now, then up towards the final chicane on the track. And let's see what Eurecia is able to do now then. Down the pit straight and across the line goes Santiago Eurecia. And he improves to go up to 8 fastest, so up to P8 goes Santiago Eurecia. As uh, Sorotkin uh, doesn't improve, stays 5th for the moment in this session. Here is Nobuharu Masushita. Across the line goes the Japanese driver. And he improves to go up to 6. So up to P6 goes Nobuharu Masushita. A very big improvement for him there to get up into the top 6 now then. For the young Japanese driver. So that's that really as we wait for another set of cars to come out onto the track. And uh, this session getting quite interesting it must be said. As a few more cars going to pit lane there then. Masashita will be going in this lap as he's currently up in 6th place in the Holy Trinity racing car. As he now heads down the hill towards the chicane. And uh, Masashita now then flicking it in for the right and left under now then before he approaches these next section of corners now then. Flicking the car in and around the right and then through the left he will go. And uh, Masashita will now approach the downhill chicane. And uh, let's see what he's able to do then. Flicking the car in through these section of corners. Around the right hand on the track he will go. A lot of curb being used on the outside. Up towards the final chicane we will go. And let's see what Masu Let's see uh, if anybody else is coming out now that Masashita is in. And it is Pierre Gasly out on track now then for... Um, for um, sorry, for uh, Academy, just trying to flick through there. But the man who's currently second is back on the track, looking to see if he can try and grab pull back off Felix Rosenquist if he can as he comes out of the hairpin. A lot of curb being used there before he, he heads down the hill towards the chicane. And uh, so now in towards the section of corners, then we'll go Gasly as he now flicks the car in through the left hander. And uh, now around the right, and then into the left again. And uh, Gasly now then, down the hill he goes through the right and left-hander. And uh, Gasly of course will be going back in 
will be uh, ab about to start a lap very soon as he comes out of the right-hander. And in towards the final chicane he goes. Joel Eriksson out there as well. So he's out on track as is Alex Lynn, Nick DeFries, Norman Nato, Julian Palmer, Felix Rosenquist, Louis Razia, Lance Stroll, Sergio Seti Camara. And Gazi should start the lap and we'll be expecting Tictum to join them very soon. Round the right-hander goes Gasly. And let's see if he can try and improve at the moment. He's currently in second, looking to try and dethrone Rosenquist to pole position as they head as he heads down the back straight before approaching the hairpin. Uh, so let's see what he can do now then into the hairpin. Goes um, the academy driver of Pierre Gasly. Down the hill he goes towards the next chicane on the track. And uh, up towards the chicane now then, flicking the car through the right and left hander in towards the next left hander on the track and uh, so now out of the corner now then flicking it in through the right and then through the left before approaching the next chicane and uh, so in down the hill he goes then through the right and left hander and now through the right will go Gasly out of the corner now then using a lot of curve on the outside before approaching the next chicane through the right, then the left, and then up towards the final corner then goes Pierre Gasly. As he now heads down the pit straight and across the line, he will go and he doesn't improve. Stays second for the moment. We have one more flying lap left if he's got enough time to get back to the pits and do another lap. Joel Eriksson, across the line he goes. We have just under six minutes remaining. He stays 16th with that lap. We've just passed the half past the five mark, so we're just under a half an hour away from the GP3 qualifying session. Lynn doesn't improve, nor does uh, De Vries there. I was about to say Stroll, but it's Nick De Vries. Uh, so here comes Norman Nato, rounding the right-hander now then. A lot of curve being used on the outside before approaching the uh, the final chicane. And let's see what Nato is able to do now then. Into the last few corners, and he will go on the track. As he heads down at the pit straight and across the line goes Norman Nato. Can he improve? And he does. He goes up to fifth for that lap. So P5 for Norman Nato. Tictum starts the lap. Palmer doesn't improve. Got held up and stays 17th. Here is current pole man uh, Felix Rosenquist. This is going to be an improvement for the Swede. Across the line goes Rosenquist. And he doesn't improve. Says so on 1 minute 17.158 at this stage. Louis Razia heads down the pit straight and across the line he will go. And uh, he improves to go up to 16th place, but still not in the top 10. Willow's Grand Prix clearly struggling around here this weekend. Stroll across the line stays 13th with that lap, as it's still 15th for Sergio Sete Camara. So that's that for him. As uh, here is Dan Tictum on the lap in the RSPCA racing car as he flicks it through this left hander on the track. And now through the right, we will go. And then around the next left hand, there we go. Into the chicane will go uh, Dan Tictum. Let's see what the lap time is going to be for the young Brit. Into the chicane. And now up towards the final few corners on the track. Then goes Daniel Tictum as he heads up towards the uh, the final chicane on the track. Let's see what Tictum is able to achieve now then. Around the right, then the left, and then up towards the final corner we go. And Dan Tictum is now going to cross the line. And let's see what he's able to do then. Tictum crosses the line and he stays in 20th position. So that's that for him. And uh, so there you go then. As there is Tictum, who's just going to be coming around the right hander. And uh, so that's that for him. It's George Russell now comes out onto the track. So Russell now out there for uh, Red Bull Academy. As he now just flicks it through the right hander on the track. As a lot of curve being used on the outside down the back straight. Also on track, we have Lando Norris, his fellow compatriot, right behind him on the track as they now approach the hairpin. And uh, so through the right hander, we will go. As uh, he now heads down the hill now, then towards the next section of corners on the track. And uh, Russell now, then. Is about to start his next flying lap on the track. Around the left hand, there we go. And uh, so Russell now then about to uh, to start his next flying lap. Also on the track, we have Lando Norris, 
in the light base only racing car. Yuri Vips out there as well. Mitch Evans out there, as is Sasha Fenestras. Sean Galayo will be expecting Luca Giotto. Santiago Rishi and Nebuhaya Masashita. And uh, Tictum's just come back in. So another car to spawn uh, pretty soon. As uh, Russell now then rounds the final corner and onto the pit straight we will go. And he's got to be quick because there's somebody else coming out onto that track. And uh, luckily for him, that's not going to be the case as they go around these next section of corners. Around the right hander now, then we go. As they now head down towards the uh, the back straight before approaching the hairpin. And uh, Russell looking to try and see if he can try and lock the two Red Bulls onto the front row if he can. Up towards the hairpin. And now heading down the hill towards the next chicane on the track. And uh, Russell now then will approach that chicane, flicking the car through the right, then the left, and then up towards the left hander on the track we go. And Russell now then, a lot of curb being used on the outside as he now heads up towards the chicane. Luckily for him, the guy in front, I think that is Santiago Uricia. He's not going to hold him up this time around, so Russell should be able to get a clean lap underneath him as he rounds the right hander. And let's see what he's able to achieve then as he comes down towards the final chicane. And Russell is now going to cross the line. Let's see what he's able to do then. Round the final corner and onto the pit straight we will go. And across the line now then goes George Russell. What's the time going to be? And he doesn't improve. Stays fourth on his final flying lap there then. So no front row lookout for Red Bull Academy. Lando Nice doesn't improve. He stays third. Sorotkin having to go a little wider as Gasly... Uh, came out on track. That will definitely compromise his lap. Vip stays 21st uh, for the moment as uh, we now look at Mitch Evans who exits into the final chicane. Let's see what the Vortex driver is able to do as he heads down the uh, the pit straight and across the line he will go. 45 seconds remaining on the clock and he doesn't improve. Stays 10th with that lap there then. Sasha Fenestras uh, goes around the final few corners now then. Let's see what the Frenchman is able to achieve then. Up towards the final chicane will go Sasha Fenestras. And let's see what he's able to accomplish then. 25 seconds remaining. Down the pit straight and across the line will go uh, Sasha Fenestras. And he stays 19th. No improvement as it's still 14th for Sean Galile on his final flying lap. Santiago Uricia just rounds the final few corners. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5... Four, three, two, one, zero. Check the flag is out, and that is the end of the session. You reach across the line, stays ninth. No improvement there for the Uruguay driver. Sergey Sorotkin had uh, the first corner compromised by him, but let's see, can he improve either way? No, he can't. Stays sixth with that lap. Gasly wasn't able to have enough time to do a lap. It looked like he was just out there for a mileage run. Still remaining eighth for Luca Giotto, as it uh, looked like. Um, uh, Masashita there was on a little bit of a ragged edge there. I wonder if he locked up a little bit going into the entrance. But he's now about to finish his final flying lap. Masashita crosses the line and he stays in 7th place. No improvement for him. And uh, I do believe that is that. Unless somebody else is on a lap. No there isn't. So there you have it then guys. It does appear that uh, Felix Rosenquist has yet again taken pole position. Uh, for this season, he takes pole for the feature race here at Magni Court. Let's see, there you have it then, qualifying over. And I believe it is Felix Rosenquist, who once again takes pole position for the feature race. And uh, by around two tenths of a second quicker than the hometown favourite. So there you have it then, guys. After all of that, here is the grid for tomorrow's feature race here at Magni Court. Felix Rosenquist on pole with Pierre Gasly in second. Lando Norris is in third with George Russell fourth. Norman Nato fifth. Sergei Sorotkin in sixth. With Nobuhara Masashita 7th, Luca Giotto in 8th, Santiago Uricia 9th, Mitch Evans 10th, Nick DeFries in 11th, with Alex Lynn 12th, Lance Stroll 13th, with Sean Galileo in 14th. And if we scroll down the rest of the field, it is Sergio Seta Camaro in 15th, Louis Razia in 16th, Joel Erickson in 17th, Julian Palmer 18th, 
with Sasha Fenestras 19th, Dan Tictum 20th, Yuri Vips 21st, and due to his qualifying ban, Lucas Yora is in 22nd and last. So there you have it in, guys. That is the grid for the feature race. Uh, tomorrow it should be quite an exciting feature race, so hopefully it will be. Uh, but stick around now, guys, because coming up next is the qualifying session for IFMC GP3. So if you want to go and grab a quick drink, then you can. But until then, I've been JDWF1, and I'll see you guys in just a little bit.